This is Roger Steck from Professional Learning and I'd like to introduce you to a range of online services available to staff and students in 2012. Most learning areas have used a learning management system such as WebCT or Moodle for many years. More recently, teachers around the state have been using participative media such as wikis and YouTube channels. And increasingly, students are managing their own information through the use of Google Docs and Facebook connections. So we can see how this use of participative and social media, much of it is free, has extended, complemented the traditional learning management system, which has largely been teacher driven. Beyond having courses online, an increasing number of teachers and in fact individual adult learners are putting their work in online portfolios for sharing and assessment. The use of wikis is growing rapidly across campuses and we now have almost a thousand users in the Mahara ePortfolio system. Flickr has been used for sharing and assessing work in the creative arts and Blogger has been used for journaling. Over the last year there's been quite a bit of interest in establishing learning communities online both for communication and for learners to mutually support one another. A few learning areas have created their own Facebook pages and lots of classes now have closed Facebook groups largely for communication and linking with student mobile phones. The use of social media such as LinkedIn for professional learning is becoming increasingly important not only for getting a job but for us as a vocational institution, it's very important that students understand how to use these media professionally in business and industry. So, as you can see, online learning in the Polytechnic has evolved far beyond the original learning management system provided by ITS. To support all these systems, a new 24-7 help desk is being rolled out across all campuses during this year. It's based on a number of pilot projects that have been run particularly down the south of the state involving ICT students. Library staff also play a key role in helping students and the 24-7 help desk will be linked to campus libraries. To complement the new 24-7 help desk some structures will be put in place to enable users to help each other. So these online services which look something like this from the point of view of applications that are currently being used have been connected together in an online learning services 2012 website and this is the website you can see its short address there without logging in you can access a range of links on the right hand side such as the Tasmanian Polytechnic Facebook currently with 1300 subscribers and you can subscribe just by liking it at the top the Polytechnic Libraries link and from there to all of the campus libraries. The help page is available as login through guest and from there you can access a range of help videos on YouTube and some text-based help forums where students can ask questions and there are also training videos. These ones here are very basic starting with uh, what is a mouse. You can see the course outline there. On the left hand side you can see the Tasmanian Polytechnic Twitter live feed. Um, about 150 organizations follow the Tasmanian Polytechnic, mostly Tasmanian. Further up there are links to places on the web that classes use, for example Facebook so students can find their Facebook class, uh, click on the link and open up in a page and then only if they're a member of that group because it's a closed group can they access the discussions and videos and polls. After logging in and to log in uh, students need to create a new account they can then access the courses that are available for example the free training course provides access to the atomic training selection of um, IT courses so here you can see a range of Microsoft courses and uh, Adobe applications 
Photoshop sitting there and uh, Apple where they can learn the iPad these are available to teachers as well anybody can access these who've created an account or people can search for any application that they would like from this website students can access polytechnic learning communities and ePortfolios the ePortfolio system has a resume builder including goal setting and uh, a journal and allow students to upload files that they can then share in ePortfolio pages uh, for assessment or to other students or to a potential employer. There are groups available for classes or across the state and those groups contain forums, um, pages for sharing, file sharing, a range of other facilities. And that's it.